In this lesson, you're going to learn about the hue and saturation adjustment in Photoshop. First, I want to explain what hue and saturation means. So I've opened the image of just a red rectangle and I'm going to make an adjustment to it, which is hue and saturation. So here's the hue and saturation panel. I want to show you what um, all these things mean and what these different adjustments do, what these different sliders do. So first of all, what is hue? Hue simply means what color something is. It's another word for color. So if you change the hue, you change the color. So if I move the slider, it's going to change the hue. It becomes purple, then blue, then cyan. And over here, it's green, yellow, orange, and we're back to red. So that's all this slider does is it changes the hue of uh, everything that's in the image. So if I had an image like this and I added the same effect, and move the same slider, same thing happens except all the colors in the image are changing at the same time. So you get kind of this crazy um, look, um, all this crazy stuff going on. Um, so back to the red square though. The next slider here is saturation and what that means is it's, the, it's how saturated the color is or how pure the color is. So if I increase the saturation, it makes it more pure or more intense and it's very vibrant. If I go the other way and decrease the saturation, then it becomes less and less intense and very dull until it's completely unsaturated and then there's no color and it's just black and white. So that's what saturation does. And then the last one is lightness and this simply adds white or adds black. So it's just like a tint or shade slider. So that's what the three sliders here do in this panel. So we'll close that. Now that we understand that, we're going to go to this image and I'm going to show you a little, in a little bit more detail what we can do with a photo using this tool. So I'm going to, instead of adding the effect to the photo itself, I'm going to make an adjustment layer. So I'll, I'll click layer, new adjustment layer, hue saturation, <clears throat> and uh, we'll start playing with this effect. Now before we start, there's um, some presets. So um, this is the, all these effects are done just by moving the sliders in certain positions, but there's some pre-programmed combinations that are preset here for you. So if you're doing something simple with your picture, like increasing the saturation, you can just use that preset and it instantly just increases the saturation a little bit, increases it a little bit more. There's one called cyanotype where it um, floods the whole picture with just cyan. Um, there's old style where it decreases the saturation a little bit and increases the, the lightness a little bit so it feels like kind of an older picture. Red boost, sepia, strong saturation, and yellow boost. So those are all the presets that are in place for you and uh, so you can use that uh, if it works for what, whatever look you're going for or you can do custom. So if you have it on custom then you just move these sliders however you want. But uh, let's say we want to just increase the saturation just a little bit. Um, but maybe we don't like this red box, for example. Maybe it's sticking out too much. We don't want that focal point. We don't want that contrast right there. Um, there's a way to customize your hue and saturation with just the individual colors. So the way you do that is by clicking this drop down right here where it says master. And now if I select reds, it's only going to pay attention to the reds in the image and you can see exactly what hues it's looking at right here in this slider right here. Um, and this actually can change, like if I make this bigger, then it's going to pay attention to a bigger range of colors. And then when I make an adjustment, it's going to affect all of the things within that range. Um, but what it was set at before was a more narrow range of reds and so that would isolate just that cooler probably on the Jeep. So see now it's just affecting that cooler. And uh, <clears throat> so if I wanted to take the saturation down on that just a little bit, then I could isolate that, desaturate it, or I could even change the hue by moving the slider a little bit and I could, you know, make it a color that matches a little bit better with the rest of the image. Um, so let's say we wanted to bring uh, the greens out a little bit more. We could select the greens right here and we can make these more saturated to make it um, feel a little more alive, a little more warmth to it. Um, so, but you'll notice that it's only affecting certain greens. Like if I crank this all the way up, it's missing, even though this grass is green here, it's missing that, it's skipping, it's, it's only picking a certain type of green. Um, so there's another tool here that you can use 
<clears throat> to be able to tell it specifically uh, the range of greens that you want. So right now it has some greens selected, but if I use this eyedropper tool that has a little plus by it, if I click that, now I can click on all the greens throughout the image that I want to change. And it's gonna start adding all of these up and increase the range. You see how the range is getting bigger right here because I've clicked on all of these different colors within that range of green to yellowish green, even to a little bit of brown. And so now that I've got that bigger range selected, when I change saturation, it's gonna affect everything in that range. So you see now all the grass and trees are becoming more saturated and more intense and nothing else is, like the whole Jeep is being left alone. Um, so that's the way you can um, isolate and tell it specifically which colors you want it to pay attention to. Uh, another way to do that is, let's say for example, I want to go pay attention to the blue um, right here around the Jeep and this tent that's on top of the Jeep. I can click this button right here and I can click and hold and then slide up to the right and to the left, and it, it does the hue and saturation just right on the screen. So it's a quick way to just click on a color and then you slide it to the right to increase the intensity or slide it to the left to decrease the intensity. So I can make it a gray Jeep or I can make it a really vibrant blue Jeep. Um, I can also, while that's selected, completely change the color of the Jeep. So I can slide the hue slider over here and make it a bright purple Jeep. And then there's some of it that I didn't quite get right here, so I can use this plus eyedropper tool and add those things in to this range that it's paying attention to. And then that way, um, everything that I wanted is being affected. So maybe that's too saturated. I can bring the saturation down a little bit. So anyway, you can use these sliders and this tool and these eyedropper tools to select and um, alter just these specific ranges. That's how the sliders work. That's how the presets work. That's the hue and saturation adjustment in Photoshop.